Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Overcrowd a Commute em Up. Before we hop into building our next station, I just want to do a little quick update on the channel. First, I have been greatly enjoying this so far, and I've been getting a great response from everyone that has been involved. Thank you so much for those that have liked, commented, and subscribed. I really do appreciate it and all of your support, please continue. I would love to get to know you guys better and build ourselves a little community. Second, I have created both a Twitter and a Discord. Uh, this will allow us to have a little bit better communication, direct communication uh, with me, obviously, and some of the other fans. Please check out both those links in the description of the video. And lastly, we're getting pretty darn close to our goal of 100 subscribers. When we reach that, I plan on updating the, the channel banner, icons, things like that. Might even commission someone to do it, so if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below if there's someone you think's really great at making channel art. Anyways, let's hop into Overcrowd and build ourselves another fantastic subway station. Looks like we will be building in Zone 4, Port End Avenue. It's got about a commuter rate of half, a little bit of trash, a little bit of anger, some crime, plenty of money, and some sickness, some disease index. So this might be a bit of a challenging station, so let's go ahead and start that. If you didn't check out the first video where we built our original station, please do. It will give you an idea of what this game is, and it's a great game. So we're building ourselves a subway station, subway platform, and our map has loaded in, and let's see what we got. So we've got three tracks, one here, one here, and one here, and you can see we've got two on the main level, the top level, and then one down here below. We've got an entrance over here on the top, an entrance over here on the bottom, and then looks like an entrance there. Got anywhere else we can go? Airplane flying back there. Nope, looks like that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and start. I'm thinking we start here and start on the top level. Since we started another level, game level, we've unlocked some things we can buy with our bonds. So we could, we need 15 bonds to unlock three. So let's see, we could get the staff only zone. Turnstile two, we can't unlock that yet. Can we unlock anything? I wonder, it looks like we gotta do a little bit of work before we can unlock some of this. PA, alarm, let's go to tools here. Can't unlock any of that. Anything in commerce, nothing in commerce yet, that's okay. And we'll check amenities just to be sure, nothing yet. All right, so we'll go ahead and back out of that and we'll start building ourselves a nice floor. So let's go ahead and start building off this entrance. Oops, let's make this three by three, there we go. And we'll build it all the way to the train platform. Just like that, fantastic. And then let's go ahead and sell sell this part backwards. We'll get a little money off that. And then let's expand this this way like this. Got that nice and squared off. Fantastic. So I think what we'll do is we'll build probably our utility room and maybe our tool room over here and then kind of expand this way and allow for construction of the turnstiles and the platform itself. So let's go ahead and expand like that. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and start putting in some of our infrastructure. Obviously, we have to start with an entrance. Put that right there. And let's go to facilities, or excuse me, utilities. No, nope, infrastructure. All right, back to infrastructure. We'll go with a utility room. Right. Start with a, well, yeah, we'll go with a four by four utility room. Put that there. And then we'll start with another tool room. And drop that there. And we can put the door there. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and put in all of our tools first. Rotate those. We got ourselves a jerry can for filling up our generators. Tool kit for fixing items. Litter picker to obviously pick up trash. Megaphone to move our uh, people along. And then a watering can to water any of the plants we have. And then we will go to utilities here. Let's go ahead and plop down some level one generators. Put ourselves a fuel can here so they can Fuel up those generators as needed. Put ourselves a wheelie bin there. And then let's go ahead and put, um, let's see if we do two more generators like that. All right, that should be plenty of power to get us going. Plenty of that as well. 
So let's go ahead and start looking at the platform. I want to make sure we have enough platform space so we can start with at least the two carriages. So let's go ahead and build this this way a little bit. All right, and we want this at least three tiles back because this first tile will be taken up by the platform itself. Then we want a space and then we want another space so we could put benches and things like that. So we'll go ahead and put that down there. Go back to infrastructure platform, we'll rotate that. All right, max, uh, three more cells for plus one carriage. All right, let's go ahead and just extend that. Three more cells so we can guarantee two, three. There we go. So when we upgrade here in a little bit, we can have three carriages coming through instead of just two. All right, let's drop that there. How are we doing on money? Six grand. We will expand this so we can put some stuff there as well. Perfect. Oops, did not want to do that. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and back out of that, and we're gonna go ahead and edit this. There we go, so people can get on this side of the platform. Fantastic, now we're gonna go ahead and put in some turnstiles. We'll rotate this turnstile here. And actually, no, hold on, let's, let's sell this. I'm gonna back this up a little bit. All right, so facilities, turnstile. Let's put our turnstiles way up here. And we'll do one and one, so I need to expand this just a tick. And we'll grab that, build that up like that. Perfect. And then go back to facilities, turnstile, put that one there. All right, and then we'll select, and this one goes towards the platform. And then this one can, yep, like that. All right, and let's go ahead and click on this one, and this one will be the exit. There we go. So we've got one turnstile going into the platform and one coming off the platform. Go ahead and drop our ticket machine. Let's go ahead and put our ticket machine right here. And then we'll go ahead and put, uh, we can go ahead and put some benches over here so people can take a seat while they wait. Put ourselves a trash can there. And we'll put a, a plant, put a plant here and a plant here, and let's go ahead and put one here as well. Now we need some light so it's not as gloomy, and we can put the light, all right, make sure this isn't gloomy down here. All right, let's put a light here, put a light here, put one here, and put a light there. All right, this station is coming along very nicely. If you guys have been playing any overcrowd, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I've enjoyed it so far. It's a fun little game. And now we need some commerce. We'll put an ad, put an ad there. And let's go ahead and put a newspaper stand right there so people can buy newspapers as they come in. Money-wise, we're still doing good, four grand. The last big thing we need to do is put in a staff room. I'm thinking maybe we put our staff room right here. So let's do a three by three staff room, maybe. Oops, we're on the sculpt floor. I want to add floor. Here, we'll put that there. I don't know why. Oh, she's selling the newspaper. Okay, all right. Um, staff room. There we go. We'll put our staff room right here. Perfect. So amenities. We'll put in a water cooler, a vending machine. Oops. And then a comfortable chair. All right. Got a staff room. We got a little bit of commerce. Got tools set out. Got our utilities set up. Let's put some benches over on this side of the platform. We'll put two, and let's go ahead and rotate our screen. And then we'll spin, put two more, and two more just like that. And then we'll put trash can here, put trash can over there, put a plant here, and then let's put a plant here. And that should be good. I think our station is pretty well set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and open the door so we can start to bring in the beautiful people. And change that to open. All right, and it's saying we don't have any power there. That changes. Let's go ahead and bring our staff in. So we will bring Logan and uh, Morgan in. So Morgan, you are going to run the Megaphone, which will help move people along, and the litter picker, and I'm going to station you. Yeah, that looks good right there. All right, now Watson, you will be in charge of the watering can and the jerry can. All right, 
And then Watson, you can grab that. And then we will station you. Uh, yeah, we can station you there. That seems good. All right, so we got our second station up and running. We got about three grand. So we'll have to play a little bit and make sure we can earn some money. And then maybe we'll work our way over to this part of the station or down a level. Let's go ahead and bring our first train in. Fantastic. So we got to build two platforms to get $1,000. Uh, build one entrance and hit the football target goal for another 1000 And obviously keep our reputation above zero. That's all right. Rush hour is over. Start loading some people on here. Looks like our, our newspaper stand is making some sales. Seeing a lot of nice plant emotes. That's good. All right. Ticket machine is churning out money for us. That's what we want to see. Looks like we could do maybe a couple more benches. I mean, there's a lot of people standing around. Maybe one or two benches right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to facilities. Get ourselves some uncomfortable benches. Let's put one there. And we'll put one there. Oh, no, we don't want that there. Sorry, that's like right in the middle of the way. Go ahead and sell that bench. And we'll go back to facilities here. Uncomfy bench. And let's put that right there. There we go. Plenty of spots to seat for everyone. Oop, our train has broken down. So let's go ahead and have Watson here. Can we hire someone new? Uh, let's go applicants. Yes, we can hire someone new. Let's go ahead and hire Thomas. Is he decent at repair? 12. Nope. Okay, so we're going to hire a, a live? Alive? All right, and she's going to go ahead and pick up the repair kit here. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, Morgan picked up the repair kit. All right, well, she's going to pick up the litter picker upper, and she'll get on that. And away goes the train. There we go. Morgan's going to keep yelling at everyone for us. Keep them moving along nicely. All right. So our ad revenue is going along nicely as well. That's what we want to see. Station is vibrant and growing. Gotten 15 bonds. Let's see if we can buy anything new. Uh, let's bring the train in while we look. There we go. All right. Infrastructure. Let's start there. Can we buy the new level train? We cannot yet. Anything in facilities? Nothing in facilities yet. Let's go to tools. Still nothing in tools yet. So like for the mop, what do we need for the mop? 50, 49. All right, so we gotta wait a little bit. That's okay. And off goes another train. Just earning more and more bonds because that's what we need to do. Again, if you've played this, let me know in the comments below what you think of Overcrowded Commute em Up. It's a fun little game. I think, I can't remember if it's two years old now, three years old, something like that. If you enjoy it, like the video. Uh, and then if you really enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. I know this isn't the funnest of games for everyone, and some people have been asking for more Meeple Station, but I really don't know what else we can do in Meeple Station unless they give us another update. But you never know. We might go back and visit that. Been, been also playing a little bit of the final station, um, but we haven't quite, that, those videos haven't been doing that well, uh, so I've kind of moved on from that. Eventually I'll finish the series, but um, we will kind of keep bouncing around game from game till we find something that hits just right. All right, there's just so many people standing. I got plenty of benches. You would think they would uh, sit down since there's just so many places to sit, but I guess, guess not. All right, just a little bit more here. Let's see if we've unlocked anything else with the bonds. Not quite. Go ahead and bring this train in. There it goes. All right, here comes that train. Still haven't unlocked anything. I wonder if we needed to have played another level one station first, just to unlock some more stuff. But that's okay. We got this station up and running, so it's doing a great job. Let's, um... Let's unlock the PA, since we got plenty. And we'll go ahead and unlock that. And let's go ahead and build some PAs. I think that'll help move people along for us. So let's see, is it under infrastructure, utilities? Yeah, level one PA. So we will, let's put one, put one right in front of the gate. That should keep moving people along nicely. Bring in the next train, perfect. 
So I think eventually we'll be able to automate bringing in the trains. So if it's, is it under facilities? Oops, nighttime, so everyone's going home, that's okay. Um, infrastructure maybe. Uh, utilities, did I miss it? Here it is, signaling. Let's see, let's see what the signal relay does. Uh, make calling trains a cinch with this fantastic bit of uh, kit that maps your F key to calling trains to the correct platform. Oh, okay, so we could put that and all I have to do is click F, but I think for now, since the stations are pretty small, we'll leave it as it is. Let's go ahead and skip the night, since there's no need for us to, to sit around and wait for that. The next train is here. We'll go ahead and bring that in. Eight people getting off. And hopefully we get these uh, other people in and loaded on as soon as we can. All right, Watson's over here watering the plant. Oh, we missed that. Uh, member, your staff is unhappy. All right, why are you unhappy? Stamina. All right, let's get you in and rested. There you go. Rest up. Be happy. We don't want any sad people working here. Okay, yep, drink some water, take a nice rest. I want to view your stats. All right, so he's back up to strength, but we'll let him finish getting better, feeling better. Next train's rolling in. There we go. Still nothing on the bonds, I don't think. We'll check infrastructure again. How many more bonds do we need to unlock? 46 out of 49. So hopefully we we'll unlock one, two, three more bonds, and we can unlock the three carriages. Money we're doing okay on. It'd be a lot to expand over to this next section. Not saying we couldn't do it. That's way... Okay, so that one's down. So we would need to expand this way. Bring that all the way up. And what we could do is maybe put our staircase in the middle going down to this lower platform. Train's broken down. All right, Morgan, I need you to go fix the train. So we can keep our money flowing in. All right, PA system's doing okay. Looks like this turnstile is about to break and probably needs a little fixing. And there he goes to fix that for us. Fantastic. All right, and the ticket machine <laughs> needs a little fixing too, but he's got that. Great. Morgan, what a grade A employee. I'll rotate here. There we go. That looks a lot better. All right, another train rolling in here any second. All right, I think one more bond. All right, one more bond and we can unlock the three carriages. So once that hits 24, we will be golden for that and we'll be able to unlock quite a bit. All right, everyone load up on the train. Come on, get on. Oops, I smell a rat. More technology is available. All right, so we got plenty of bonds and plenty of things to unlock. Um, yeah, I get people are running around. So we need to get the rat zapper. How much is the three carriages? Four bonds. Okay, definitely going to unlock that so we can move more people. Now let's go ahead and unlock stock two as well. Um, this just means the, the trains come a little bit faster. So we'll unlock that. Eventually we want to get platform two so we can build two platforms, but let's hold off on that. I want to make sure we get, where's it? At? Let's go to tools here and we're going to get the, here we go, rat prod so people can zap the rats. And the mop will pick up spills. Let's go ahead and unlock that. And we'll unlock, basically we're gonna lock all the tools because that will become important uh, for our passengers. Unlock that. And then let's go down. All right, so we've unlocked all the tools we can unlock. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and build the tools. So we've got the megaphone. We'll go ahead and put the tablet here. The first aid kit. We might have to expand our room here in a second. Yeah, we're gonna have to expand the room. So let's go to infrastructure and tool room and, all right, rotate. So we'll have to expand it this way. All right, edit floor. And let's go ahead and build this out like that. Perfect. And then infrastructure and tool room. Expand it over there on the concourse. There we go, all right. So we got ourselves an expanded tool room. So let's go ahead and put down the rest of the tools. So we got the first aid station and the assistance tablet. Let's go ahead and put the drip there. And then over here we can do the mop and then the rat prod. 
right there. All right. So let's go ahead and grab. Can Morgan get any more tools? All right. So where's Morgan at? All right. Morgan cannot. Watson cannot. But Khan can. So Khan, I'm going to have you pick up the mop and the rat prod, and you're gonna be our cleaning specialist. All right, go ahead and pick up the mop and the rat prod. There we go. So you're gonna go out and make sure you keep our station clean, nice and clean. Morgan, I'm gonna have you keep yelling, and then let's go ahead and hire one more staff applicant. All right, we got Maya Edwards and Eliza King. Who do we want? Who do we want? $2,000. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and hire Eliza because she is on the cheaper side, and she can hold three items. So she's going to be our information and first aid person. So she can get the information tab, first aid kit, and the drip. There we go. And she can go out and help our people. Now let's go ahead and zoom in, and we'll see what the three-car... Oh, I got it. Do I have to change the stock on this? Oops, didn't let anything offload. Let's, um, there we go, stock two. Okay, change that to that. Three carriages, beautiful. So that was my fault. We didn't let anyone offload or unload. Screwed that up, but that's okay. Now we got our information tab, first aid kit, and the drip, so if anyone has any dehydration or faints from the heat. Okay, next train coming in, because I screwed up, not as many people. Um, but that'll allow those people to get off and 15 people to get on this brand spanking new train and away they go All right bad case of the flu. So um, That's where the first aid kit comes in handy She'll go over there and make sure they're not getting sick or anything like that and Spreading those germs because they will spread the germs and that we do not want because it will cause our station reputation to plummet All right next train rolling in See how fast it moves to compared to the other train Everyone off, board all of our other people on. There we go, 15 people, and away it goes. So I think it used to take an hour of game time, and now it takes 45 minutes of game time for another train to, to arrive, so that's good for us. Just means we're turning things over more and more. All right, we'll bring in one more train. Let's see if we can beat the closing time. A rodent problem, so we'll need um, Khan to go out and zap that rat. Let's see if she'll go zap it. Zap, zap. Did you see it go zap there? Ah. All right, so it's nighttime, and we've been doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and end that episode here. So in this episode, we went ahead and start building our second station. We're doing pretty well so far. Uh, we've expanded, got a, quite a few bonds, upgraded quite a few things. Got some noxious fumes over here we're going to have to take care of in the next episode. I think we'll have to put a vent over there. Um, so if you've enjoyed this content for Overcrowded Community Up, please go ahead and give the video a like. Comment on down below. Again, I'm still looking on feedback, still kind of new to this, on overall oh, voicing quality, gaming quality, anything like that, graphics, whatever. Please let me know what you think of my videos. And lastly, if you've enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Again, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next Overcrowd video.